so dear students here i am with another solution of valuation of goodwill now before i start this solution i will tell you that if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so that you get the notification of my videos whenever i upload them so let us start first of all you see here first point profit earned by mr x means profit is given so profit is given for 2015 2016 and 2017 means 3 years profit is given okay then they have given certain adjustment so these adjustments are very important try to understand properly if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box i will be ready to answer you there profit of 2016 is reduced by 5000 due to stock destroyed by fire now before i begin the explanation i will tell you something if there is a normal expenditure or normal income so we will deal with them accordingly suppose if there is a normal expenses in the business it will be subtracted from the profit and if there is a normal income it will be added but if we have a non recurring income or unexpected income you can say or unexpected expenditure which are not normal okay so those things will be recorded in a opposite way for example if there is an unexpected expenditure you are going to add that with the profit if there is a unexpected income or you can say non recurring income it will be deducted from the profit i will repeat the point once more if there is a unexpected or non recurring expenditure it will be added and if there is a non recurring income it will be subtracted means the effect will be opposite but if there is a normal expense and normal income then the effect will be as usual income means plus expenditure will be added okay but here you see what is given here profit of 2016 is reduced by 5000 due to stock destroyed by fire now stock destroyed by fire means it's an expenditure but this is not a normal expenditure right sudden expenditure so it is an expenditure but we will add this profit so we add this with the profit of which year 2016 because it is not a normal expenses okay if it was a normal expenses we would have done minus clear and the profit of 2015 included a non recurring income of how much 2000 as i told you non recurring income is going to be subtracted from the year in which it occurred that is 2015 non recurring income means it is not a normal income for the business okay it can be income from any other sources but not a business income am i clear Then point number three, profit of 2017 includes 2000 income on investment. Now students, be careful. When you do a business, okay, they have not mentioned the business here. So if they have, if you have an income on investment, income on investment is considered as non-recurring income. The reason is, as a company, you are investing your fund in some other place. From there, you are earning interest. So it can be considered that it is not a business income okay it is an extra income so it will not be included if it is included you will have to subtract it from that particular year see here is given this 2000 is included in which year's profit 2017 so from 2017 2000 will be deducted okay then point number 4 the stock is not insured and it is thought prudent to insure the stock in future now since it's a business stock is linked with business Okay, now they said that the stock was not insured. Now they are going to insure the stock. Now what is the premium here? The insurance premium is estimated at five hundred per annum. Now per annum means yearly you are going to pay insurance premium of how much? Five hundred. This insurance premium will be paid to insure what? Stock. And stock is used in business. That means it is a normal business expenditure. So it will be dealt accordingly. It's an expenditure. You will do subtraction of this. You will do minus five hundred. Per annum means every year, so 15 also, 16 also, and 17 also. Then point number five, a fair remuneration to the proprietor not taken in the calculation of profit is 10,000. That means you are going to provide remuneration to the proprietor, and if you provide remuneration, that is an expenditure. Okay, so it will be deducted from the profits of every year because it's given here per annum. Now these are the uh, details given in the question. Now what they ask you see calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of Two years purchase of average profit of the last three years. So that means we are going to use here average profit method. Okay. So now in average profit method, what are the rules? First of all, you have to find the average profit, and second, you can find the value of the goodwill. Clear? So if you want to take the screenshot of the question, you can take the screenshot of the question. Okay. Now let us start the solution. So here you see, if you can make this format, it will be easy for you to solve. Calculation of adjusted profit, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Three years profit is given, so just make it like that. First of all, profit as given. See, see, profit is given here fifty thousand. 
48,000 and 52,000. So I wrote the profit accordingly: 50, 48, and 52,000. Clear? Now, what is given in the adjustment one? You see, profit of 2016 is reduced by 5,000 due to stock destroyed by fire. I told you earlier. I will repeat this point once more. Stock destroyed by fire is not a normal expenditure. If it was a normal business expenditure. we would have done minus but since it is not a normal expenditure this amount will be added back in which year's profit in 2016's profit you see what i have done in the solution add stock destroyed by fire and uh, below 2016 i wrote here 5000 clear now next you see what is given here and profit of 2015 included a non recurring income of how much 3000 that means there is a non recurring income it's an income but it is non recurring so if you have if you have a non recurring income it's income right but we'll do subtraction just like you did here it was an expenditure we have done plus here non recurring income will be added what is the amount here 3000 in which year 2015 so we will do subtraction of that less non recurring income 2000 from 2015 column so by solving i got here 47000 53000 and it is same clear next point is profit of 2017 includes rupees 2000 income on investment now i told you that income on investment is a non recurring income or we can say that it is not a business income okay so as a result this amount will be deducted from that particular us profit that is 2017 we can take a look here i wrote here less income from investment 2000 from 2017. So after subtraction, 47,000 same. It is same. If we deduct here, we will get how much? 50,000. Now next point, point number four. The stock is not insured, and it is thought to be too prudent to insure the stock in future. That means we are going to insure the stock. So insurance premium you have to pay, and the payment of insurance premium is paid 500 per month. Oh, sorry, not per month. Per annum means yearly. Yearly you are paying 5,000. Sorry, yearly you are paying 500. So if you pay yearly five hundred, how many years we have here? Three years. So you're going to pay five hundred each year. It's a normal business expenditure because you're insuring the stock. That's why it will be deducted. Less insurance premium five hundred from each column. After deduction, how much I got here? Forty six five hundred, fifty two five hundred, four nine five double zero. Clear. Now the last point is point number five. Fair remuneration to the proprietor. Not taken in the calculation of profit means it was not included earlier. So now you are going to include that. And fair remuneration means you are going to pay the money to the proprietor. It is an expenditure, or you can say it's a drawing. What is the amount here? Ten thousand per annum. Similarly, per annum means yearly you are going to pay ten thousand. How many years profit you have here? One, two, and three. Three years profit. As a result, we will deduct this in all the three years. You see, less fair remuneration. Ten thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand. I have deducted. Now by solving these two, I got here thirty thousand five hundred. Here I got forty-two thousand five hundred. Here I got thirteen thousand five hundred. So this is our adjusted profit. Now using this profit, we are going to find out the valuation of goodwill. Okay. Now, which method they have asked? They have asked to find out the valuation of goodwill using two years purchase of average profit method. So you are going to use average profit. So first of all, our duty is to find out average profit. Since we have here adjusted profit, what I wrote here, you see, adjusted. You can see here, adjusted average profit. So what I will do, first of all, add these three, one, two, three added, and then divide by three because we have taken three years amount, so we'll divide by three. So by adding this, I got here one lakh eighteen thousand five hundred. Then divide by three. If you divide these two, you'll get three nine five double zero. So this is our adjusted average profit now since you got the average profit now we can find the goodwill so the well, formula for goodwill is therefore goodwill equal to adjusted profit into number of year purchase so adjusted average profit so we got here just now 39500 so we wrote here 39500 into number of year purchase you see it's given the question goodwill on the basis of two years purchase it's given the question right two years purchase so into two So by multiplying these two, how much you'll get here? Seventy-nine thousand. So in that way, you'll be solving this solution. Okay. So uh, if you want, you can take the screenshot of the solution. I will give you in part wise. See, first of all, take the screenshot of this table. Okay. Then the main solution. 
here okay so thank you students for watching again if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get the notification of my videos whenever i upload them thank you so much